Hey guys, it's your girl Chris Corio here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the dancing physiotherapist straight out of Jamaica. Over here we get sexy while being fit and having fun. So today I'm going to be doing a wine go down low drills tutorial. So how to get down low, the strength, the endurance and some little tips that you can use all right now it's very important that you listen to your body at all times because it's only you who will be able to say all right i'm having pains when i get into this position if you are having pains back off of the movement do not push to a place of just hell okay a lot of persons they mistake being fit for just really putting yourself through grueling torture that you probably see on social media it don't work like that especially if you're a first time up take it slow so for example when I go through all of these techniques, I'm going to provide you with some modifications and I want you to build yourself up slowly over time. So you could do this tutorial like two times per week, once per week to start off if it's too hard. And if you're like a professional like myself, you can do it like every single day, like five days per week, seven days per week if you really want to go, go hard, right? <laughs> so first thing we're going to do, we're going to get right into it, it's a grind stretch. And to do the grind stretch, we're going to get into a sumo squat. Now a sumo squat can be really low. So sumo squat, you want to just move the hips from side to side and I'm going to be turning my toes slightly outwards and the knees will always pushing outwards. When you go down as well, the chest should remain upright. All right. So let me turn to the side here. Y'all know Chrissy don't like to blind nobody. So here <laughs> you get down, drop the hips and just allow the hips to fall down. I don't want you to be curving your bottom like this. If you find that when you go low, you start to curve, come back out of the position and stay up here. What I want you to be feeling is a stretch in the groin area. All right, so let's get down. We're staying down for 20 seconds and we're doing it four times. So deep breathing in and out. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty squeeze on the hips pull yourself up if you are right here the same thing squeeze on the hips think about engaging those glutes as you're standing straight upright i'm going to do the same thing just facing this way obviously it's the same thing i'm just turning to this side to make my video more creative so here we go three two one get down hold in one two three and I'm using my hands on the outside or the inside of my knees to be constantly pushing my knees open right that helps with the range of motion if that's too much for you just sit with your hands right atop your knees notice my position i like to encourage persons to do these things in front of a mirror so that you can compare yourself to mine if when you're down here again you have a curved spine you're not doing the right thing all right booty should always be pushing backwards pelvis is tilted forward right that's 20 seconds let's go to the other side third one i want to go more on a diagonal now so we're here hole in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty all right so the final one is this side i'm doing it on a diagonal as well and holding one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Squeeze on those glutes, pull yourself up. All right, so the next thing we're doing is a quad stretch. So the quad stretch is really simple. All you're going to be doing is just holding on to something, a wall, a table, something that is solid that when you hold on to it, it's not going to be moving or shifting and could possibly cause an injury through you falling, right? So right here, just hold on to your leg. Some persons might not be able to lift the leg or hold the leg so close to your body. It could be possibly because you just have really thick thighs and so your leg is all the way down here, that's fine. Um, sometimes what you could do is just put like a 
something like a, your bed, put your knee on, a, on the bed and just do the stretch like that, right? And constantly push the pelvis forward. Other persons, it may not be the bulk at the back of your thigh, but it may just be that your patella or you have so, either the patella or the joints within the, uh, the knee, the tibia femoral, tibia, I'm doing all kind of, I'm doing the most, right? <laughs> I'm a physio. You may have an issue with the joint itself. If you have an issue with the joint itself, if you know you've fractured the joint, you've sprained it at some point, you've strained muscles in this area and it's preventing you from bending your knee, this is where you're gonna need some physical hands-on attention, right? You're gonna either get a physical therapist or somebody in orthopedics, somebody to look at your body to make sure that you're okay. Could also be a chiropractor as well, yeah? Sometimes even something as simple as a massage therapist, but what I do recommend is that you go and see a physician. First and foremost, let them do tests on you to check if the knee range of motion is normal, okay? And then that could also inhibit you from going down low. So take my strong advice, okay? Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Opposite side, which is the left side, for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right side again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Left side again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so we did one, two, so the third set now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Opposite side. We have one more set after this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We have last set now. Okay, here we go. On my right side. One, two, notice I'm pushing my pelvis forward. Five, six, seven, eight, so not out like that. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, again, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, so for the next thing we're gonna be doing is a hamstring stretch, and my hamstring stretches are also gonna be very basic. So I'm going to be staying in this position here for 20 seconds, four times each side. So four times on the right, four times on the left. All right, let me just make sure this is recording. Yeah, it is. Listen, <laughs> I have to check. I can't tell you how many times I've started shooting and I press record and for some reason the angels that are around in my home are telling me um, it's not time to record, let's just stop this, let's just play a joke on her, it's not funny, it's not funny, right? Yeah, I'm talking to my host, yeah? So, you know, uh, here, how to get into a proper hamstring stretch, put your leg out. If you put your leg out and you immediately start dropping to the side, it could mean that you have weakness in the hip area. And I'm gonna drop a link for some exercises that you can do for that, lower body strengthening exercises. Make sure you tap on that link. If it's difficult to hold your hips upright in this position, square in the hips, especially when you're pushing back, you need some strength in the hip area, okay? So, 
put the hip forward the leg forward and then sit back from here you want to either hold on to the top of the knee below the knee or on either side of the leg and we hold here for 20 seconds 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 opposite side same thing place the leg sit back 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 all right second time place the leg sit back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20. Opposite side. Here, sit back. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, turning forward for that third one. Again, we're here. Sit back into the hips and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. Still on the third set. Leg out. Sit back. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Final time. I'm gonna go more so on a diagonal, right? So we're here. Push back in the hips, and we're here. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Opposite side. Push back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1920 alrighty so next thing we're going to be doing is a stretch for the side of the leg and this stretch you can do it as much as possible as in push to your own limits if you're having difficulty doing it you want to hold back and do a modified version all right so the side of the hip is where you should really be feeling the the, the, uh, the stretch you can either do it standing like so or you can do it lying down and just put the leg across like so and just lying backwards and just pulling the leg up towards you right you can lie down flat too if you want to but it's pretty much the same thing it's just that i'm going to be doing it standing up all right just for the sake of doing it standing up <laughs> it's the same stretch all right so here we go four sets of 20 one two three four you can hold on five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, opposite side. Ushala. One side, you balance on one side better. Everybody, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I turn to the side for the second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's the counting and the exercise. <laughs> Hold in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Third set. Hold in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Opposite side. Woo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Are you still here with me? <laughs> Let's turn to the back. Same thing. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew, final one. We can do this. Here we go. Whew, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right. So now we're going to get into the Godong Low series of drills. We have three of them. We're going to go down low, hold it for 10 seconds, and we're going to do that three times. And if you feel that you can manage to do more than just the three times, you can rewind the video and do it again. Uh, but ideally per session you want to do at least three sets of 10 second holds um, then we're going to do a stoop position where we're changing positions right back left and forward which I'm going to demonstrate in a bit and then finally we're going to get into the stooping and winding as far as much as we can just like I said in the beginning of the video if you don't feel that you can manage all exercises don't do all of them in one go right Rome was not built in a day sweethearts all right so you will need to take your time you need to listen to your body there should be no pains if there are any pains you need to back off the movement um pay attention to your hips your knees your ankles your back listen to your body all right i can't emphasize that enough so anyway let's go down so we're going to stoop and what i want you to realize right when i bend down see what happens to my my heels they naturally just kind of lift off for some persons, dependent on how stretched out you are, the, the heels off the floor might happen from like about right here. And that's fine, okay? If this is the lowest that you can go midway, keep it there for now. Rome was not built in a day, all right? Listen, 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 listen to your body. Don't force yourself, okay? So here we are again. We'll go down and we're just gonna stay here for 10 seconds, all right? 10, 9, 8, 7, six five four three two and one squeeze the muscles tighten the muscles pull up pull up pull up pull up pull up that's it we're gonna do two more just like that ready three two one and down hold it ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one squeeze the muscles Squeeze everybody up. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. If you need to take a longer break in between each stoop, go ahead and take that. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Going down, hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up. Okay, so now we're going to be doing some rotations. All right. So we're going to go down low as low as you can and then you're going to hit side back side forward and we're going to go the opposite direction side back 
side and forward. Then we're gonna come out of that position and we're gonna do that four times, all right? Remember, you can take as much break as you want in between, particularly if you're a beginner and you've never done these exercises <clears throat> before, all right? So here we go. Getting down, three, two, one, and side, push it back, side, forward, other side, side, push back, side, and forward. All right, coming out of that position, we're gonna do it three more times, each direction. Here we go, three, two, one, as low as you can, please. Three, two, one, and side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward. All right, for the last two, I'm gonna do one facing to the side, then I'm gonna do the last one, the other one facing to the back, all right? So, two rotations here, two rotations here. Whatever you're doing, you can stay in the same position facing me, you don't have to turn with me, all right? I'm just really turning just to show you the different angles. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one, I'm hitting towards my wall first, so I'm gonna hit side, back, side, forward, now this side to you, side, back, side, forward. All right, here we go to the back. Three, two, one, and side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward. All right, so shake out the legs, Give a little massage, a little pat massage here and there. Make sure the knees are feeling okay. Rub the knees. <laughs> Take as long a break as you need. If at this point in time you're feeling really, you just can't do it, you can't do anymore, probably get some ice put on the knees, elevate them, just kind of relax, all right? Uh, if you are good to go, we're going to go to whining. So we're going to stoop and we're just going to do a whine and other side whine. And we're doing it four times, all right? Three, two, one, get down. Three, two, one, and side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward. Come out to that position. Rest, let's go down again. And the up, down, up, down is actually helping with endurance and strength. So the more you go up and down, I know it's challenging, <laughs> but it actually helps to make your staying down low even better, right? And another thing that you can do after you've done this video for a few times is that you can do all four sets without coming out of the, the um, stoop down low. All right, so either one works, up and down, helps with endurance and strength. Staying down here gives you that isometric hold. So isometric is when the body stays in one position and doesn't move. And that isometric, isometric strength is very important for a movement just like this. Okay, so here we go again. We have three more to go, second set. Three, two, one, and one, two, I'm going to come out, Woo. behave yourself, bench, <laughs> so I'm going to turn to the side, come down, three, two, one, and around, and back around, all right, turning to the back, three, two, and one, and around, and around. All right, so I hope that these drills were helpful for you. They're pretty basic, pretty simple. I want you to do them over and over. As I said before, if you're a beginner, do them once or twice per week, yes. If you are advanced, you can do it as many times as possible during the week, all right? So hope this helps. Comment below what else you wanna learn. Um, I know there is a booty clap that you guys wanted to learn. I can probably teach you guys that next week. All right, so stay tuned for that.